Hi guys, welcome to another crochet tutorial, not a crochet stitch tutorial this time. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do the alpine stitch or little mountain stitch. So this pattern is super easy, especially if you've done the front post stitch before and you can work to any number of stitches. It really makes no difference. So let's get some yarn. This is just a, I think it's like a DK or an iron weight yarn, worsted weight yarn. And I'm actually using a five millimeter crochet hook with this yarn. But all we're going to do is we're going to do a little slip knot and then we're going to just do some chains. So I'm going to chain about 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten, eleven. 12, 13, and I've just picked that number randomly because it's the same size as my little swatch here. I'm gonna make some little scrubbies or something. Um, but you can chain any amount that you like. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're gonna put our hook into our second chain from our hook. Now we don't count the loop on our hook. There's our first chain, there's our second chain. Put our hook into there. I'm gonna do a single crochet, so in, this is in US terminology, so in UK terminology it's a double crochet. I'm going to do one single crochet all the way along in every chain. So just go into each chain now, back to the end, that's the beginning, working one single crochet. So I should end up with 12 stitches by the end of this row. So just single crochets. Nice and easy. Break you in gently. <laughs> okay, just coming up to the end, very last chain. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to chain three. One, two, and three and this is going to count as a double crochet so in UK terminology it's going to count as a treble crochet um, depending on the size of the weight of your yarn if you're using a really really thick yarn it might be better just to chain two but because this is a fairly thin yarn just a DK worsted weight yarn um, I'm chaining three and then we're going to turn our work we're going to yarn over and we're going to skip that first stitch because those three chains are going to count as our first double crochet we go into the next stitch and work a double crochet or a treble crochet in UK terminology. Okay, we're going to do one double crochet in each stitch across. Okay, just one double crochet into each stitch across. Back to the beginning. So, so far, this is really nice and easy if you're familiar with crochet. If you are an absolute beginner, then do go check out my beginner tutorials and get familiar with the single and double crochet and then come back and give this a try. Sometimes it looks like we're back at the beginning, but I'm going to check our stitch count is 12. So we're going to include the chains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. One more 12. Sometimes it looks like it's on the corner a bit. There we go, so we've got our 12 stitches. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna chain one. I'm not gonna count that as a stitch, we're just gonna ignore that just for turning. Turn our work, and this time we are gonna work straight into that first stitch. We're gonna do a single crochet. Just one single crochet. And we're gonna do one single crochet in each stitch across back to the other end. And you might be thinking, well, how is this gonna make the outbind stitch? Well, bear with, because the next round, the next row, sorry, um, they're not rounds, are they? <laughs> we start to do the alpine stitch. So just one single crochet or double crochet in UK terminology back to the beginning. I'm going to keep my stitch count of 12 or however many you may have. It makes no difference. When we get to the end, we need to do one single crochet in the top of our three chains. We did those three chains at the beginning of our last row. So we're just going to find that top chain just work into there as neatly as you can. I'm terrible for working into tops of three chains. <laughs> and there we go. Okay, so it looks something like this. Nice and basic. So what do we do now? Well, we're going to chain three. One, two, 
three. We're going to count that as our double crochet again, or treble in UK terminology. Turn your work and then yarn over. And uh, looking at these previous double crochets on the second to last row, I'm going to skip this first one on the end, find this second one all the way down here, and we're going to put our hook behind it. We're going to do a front post stitch, a double crochet front post stitch. So to do that, we go into the big gap to the right of it, come out to the left of it. So it's just sat on our hook like that, like a little bridge. And just bring the yarn down, and we're going to yarn over and just bring that yarn underneath that double crochet post. And then we just do a normal double crochet, but the first thing we need to do is bring up a loop, because we need it to sit at the same height. So don't leave it all the way down here and do your double crochet, you want to bring up a nice big loop, okay, to match up with those chains. And then we're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, and that's a double crochet extended front post stitch. We're going to yarn over and then we want to find the next post and the stitch above it you should be skipping one stitch in between so if we bend this down the stitch behind that post we worked we're going to skip that stitch and find this next stitch which is sat above the next post and do a double crochet nice normal double crochet and then we're going to do another front post stitch so look for the next stitch and then find the post below so not this post here because we've worked into that stitch but this next post for the next stitch. Come all the way down and go underneath to the right of it, come out on the left, just tucking underneath, grab your yarn and then bring up a nice big loop and then we yarn over, pull through two, pull through two to do a normal double crochet. But because we're putting up the yarn it sits nice and flat otherwise you're going to be, it's going to be pulling down. So Then we do the same thing again, we skip the stitch that's above that post and find the next post stitch above and do a double crochet in there. And we just repeat that all the way along. So we yarn over, find the next stitch and the post below, so not this one, the next one. Go underneath the right to the left, grab the yarn, bring up a nice loop and do a double crochet. Then the next post, find the stitch above it, do a double crochet in there next stitch find the post below and do a front post stitch double crochet front post stitch nice extended one then find the next post stitch above do a double crochet find the next stitch and use the post below and do a double crochet front post stitch find the next stitch work into there and then we're at the ends, so what have we got left at the end? So we've got one stitch left and we're on a front post stitch, aren't we? So there's the last stitch. It's just around the very end post, so we're just going to go into the right, just come out at the back basically, grab the yarn, still bring it up, nice loop, and do a double crochet. Okay, so it should look like that. You should have a stitch count of 12 still, or however many you've got. Then we're going to chain one, I'm not going to count that as a stitch, and we're going to do our normal single crochet row. So we're going to go straight into that first stitch and do one single crochet. And we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch to the end, making sure we're keeping our same stitch count. Just normal single crochets, or double crochets in UK terminology. All the way to the end. Okay, so with our three chains, I'm just going to check my stitch count, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, so I need to do a single crochet on the top of those three chains. Okay, now depending on your stitch count, you may have ended, on the last row, you may have ended on a normal double crochet and not a, a front post stitch, and that's absolutely fine, so just make sure you've always got your stitch count is correct and stays the same. Okay, so next round we're going to chain three, one, two, three. We're going to count that as a double crochet or a treble in UK terminology. 
This time we need to alternate. So now, although we've done the three chain at the beginning, what I like to do is a front post stitch right below it. So you're kind of doing two stitches. So maybe for this row, we'll ignore those three chains as a stitch. I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to do a front post stitch around this first previous double crochet. Come all the way down here. I'm just going in from the outside, the right hand side, and into the left underneath. Grab the yarn and then bring up a loop and do a double crochet. It's going to sit above my chains. Okay, so we're going to ignore the chains there. Then we find our front post stitch from down here and find the stitch above. Okay, so you're technically skipping one in between. So find that post stitch above and just do a normal double crochet in there. Then we're going to find the double crochet in between these two front post stitches. This one here, go into the right, out to the left. Grab the yarn and bring up a loop and do a double crochet. And so we're alternating now all the way across. So front post stitch, we find the stitch above to do a normal double crochet. Next stitch, find the post below and do a front post stitch. Remembering to bring up that loop. Then so front post stitch, we find the stitch above and do a normal double crochet. Then the next stitch, find the post below and do a front post stitch. Remembering to bring up a loop. And repeat that all the way across. So depending on how many stitches you did at the beginning, you might end on a double crochet, a normal one, or you might end on a front post stitch. Let's see what happens. Then a normal double crochet. Then a front post stitch. So it looks like I'm going to end on a normal double crochet. But if you end on a front post stitch, just work it round that post at the end. And then our return row, we're going to chain one and turn. Don't count that as a stitch. Go into the very first stitch and do one single crochet. And we do one single crochet all the way back to the other side. Just one single crochet. Nice and easy. This is a good time to check your stitch count as well. 10, 11 and 12. Right, now because I had to do a front bow stitch at the very beginning, I was ignoring those chains. I'm not going to work a single crochet into the top of those chains this time because we've got two stitches that are counting as one. Okay, so do check your stitch count if you're going to work that. Then we chain three and we just repeat the same system. So chain three and turn. Ah, now this time we had a front post stitch at the beginning, so we're going to count those three chains as a double crochet. We're going to go straight to find the next stitch here. Find the post below and do our front post stitch. So there's no, there's no front post stitch at the beginning of this one, so we can count those chains as a double crochet front post stitch, find the stitch above, the single crochet above, and do a normal double crochet. Then find the next stitch and find the post below from the previous row. Bring up a loop, do a front post stitch, and just continue that to the end. Back to the beginning. Just so you just alternate on your double crochet rows. creating this lovely effect. Oops, see, I need to remember to bring up that loop. Otherwise it will be too tight. Front post stitch. Then a double crochet as a normal one. And this time I'm going to be ending on a front post stitch, so I've got one stitch left. So find this post below, and we're just going to go into the right hand side and we just basically come out the back for this one. Then bring that yarn up and do a normal double crochet. And that's it. So you really see the pattern coming together. And I'm just going to, for this little swatch, I'm going to finish off with my single crochet row. Chain one, turn, and just do one single crochet in that first stitch and do one single crochet in each stitch across, checking your stitch count. And this time, because I didn't do the front bow stitch at the beginning, 
of the last row, I need to work into those chains. So hopefully that makes sense. You can just do the chain three and not do a front bow stitch um, if it needs one at the beginning. It's entirely up to you. But because I'm working this way, the last row there was no front post stitch so I need to work into those top of those three chains and that's it I'm going to stop there for my little swatch and that is how you do the alpine stitch and bring that back in with the purple one which go really lovely together actually I did four rows in this so I might do another row but I hope you enjoyed that tutorial hope you managed to follow along don't forget to follow me on instagram and tag me your makes at happy berry crochet and i pretty much share all the makes that you make and uh, so i love seeing them and i'll see you soon for some more crochet fun thanks for watching guys bye